Ratcliffe. Thank you, Chairman. Ms. Williams, you testified that what you noted as being unusual about the call that uh, took place on July 25th was that the President raised what appeared to be a domestic political issue, correct? Correct. But raising an issue, even one that you thought was unusual, is different than making a demand. Would you agree? Yes. And uh, as I read your deposition, it didn't sound like uh, from your testimony that you heard what took place on that call as a demand for investigations. Is that fair? I don't believe I'm in a position to characterize it further than the president did in terms of asking for a favor. You didn't hear a demand? Again, I would just refer back to the transcript itself. Lieutenant Colonel Vindman, you've testified um, and explained to us why in your mind it was a demand. And you've given us reasons, a disparity of power between the two presidents. Uh, and because you did feel that way, you also felt that you had a duty to report what you thought was improper. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. So two different people, two impartial observers, one felt the need to report the call because there was a demand that was improper and one that didn't report it to anyone. You didn't report it to anyone, right, Ms. Williams? I ensured that the information was available to my superiors. So while all this might seem as clear as mud, I think your honest and candid assessments of what you heard on the call tells us what we need to know. We have two independent folks, nonpartisans, and I'm not hearing a consensus between the two of you about what exactly you both heard on the call that you heard at the exact same time. And if you can't reach an agreement with regard to what happened on the call, how can any of us? An impeachment inquiry is supposed to be clear. It's supposed to be obvious. It's supposed to be overwhelming and compelling. And if two people on the call disagree honestly about whether or not there was a demand and whether or not anything should be reported on a call, that is not a clear and compelling basis to undo 63 million votes and remove a president from office. I yield my remaining time to Mr. Joyce.